Look, it all started with Frank, who's the executive producer, Frank Valentini. He said, because he, he always acts like, he always tells me a storyline and he waits for my reaction. Uh -huh. <laughs> so if I'm quiet, he knows. <laughs> so he goes, we're going to bring your father in and he's going to have Alzheimer's and then you're going to deal with him having Alzheimer's. I said, oh, uh, all right. I like that. That's, I like that. That, that you know. And then um, I started thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'll be honest. I, I said, well, if they hire some guy who can't act, this is stupid. And then I have to go in there and act with somebody who can't act. And if they hire somebody who's great, then I have to bear my soul. <laughs> so I said, all right. So I went up and, you know, a lot of times when I have auditioned people, there's a lot of not good ones. And then there's some good ones, but a lot of not good. This session, you guys were all great. And I was like, wow. But then you came in and there was Frank here and a brighter. I don't know. They're all sitting down. And you came in with your hair all long. And I think you had a beard. You might have had shorts. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> And then you started acting, and I swear to you, my heart hurt. And it wasn't a scene that we were like, you know, emotional or anything, but my heart started hurting. And I'm like, oh no. Then we finished the scene, you gave me a kiss on the forehead, and you left. And I remember, like, going to the wall. And I just started bawling. Now, who does that? The, the lead of a show finishes an audition and he's crying like a baby on the wall. And, and Frank and everybody are like, what the f <laughs> <laughs> you all right? And I'm like, oh, man, I don't, I don't know, man. And, uh, you know, I, I said to Frank, I said, I don't want to do this fucking story. He goes, well, you're the star of the show. You got to do it. I said, I said, I like the guy that le the the guy with the beard, and I left. Because usually I would sit there, and then they would tell me that who they want, and they try to act like they don't want who I want, or you know, and I get upset. <laughs> then I went downstairs, and I said to myself, well, I'll just deal with whatever, whoever if if. If you get it, Max, I'll, it's great because we're going to do great work. If not, then I'm, it's going to suck and I won't, have to, I won't have to bear my soul. And then you got it. And I remember the first day you came in, it was so much dialogue and pages. And a lot of people who come in from nighttime or movies, they're uh, 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 is that, is that it? Can we do another take? No, we're done, man. We're at the fifth take Nobody now. Nobody fell down. <laughs> <laughs> so then you did it, man. And I said, son of a bitch. I said to Frank, he did it. And then I don't think he went up once, maybe once. And I was like, okay, it's going to work. And, you know, uh, what was difficult about the story was that uh, that you reminded me so much of my dad that it wasn't it just didn't become it wasn't acting anymore. We'll end this by saying uh, that was a great experience working with you. Two years was it? Two years. I think it was pushing three. Oh, because you were only supposed to come out for like months. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think they do that in a way, so if it isn't working. I know, I know, I know. Can, everybody can say face. Yeah. Uh, um, and we ended up together uh, winning an Emmy because yes. of it. Yes. And, um, but that, but we won the Emmy from not what we did which was the hardest, you know, when I came into you, like I told you this already, if I had, if they had, if GH had called me a month earlier, there's no way I could have come in and done all that. There's no way. 
because that's when I was screwed. I was, I was messed up bad. But they called at the right time. I had about three, two, three weeks to get better because, you know, and then we, I come in right into it, right? We came right into it. You're going to die and the whole thing. And, um, but it was, it's just, it, it truly, and I've been there tw almost 28 years. And it's, pr it is my one or two, maybe one best storyline I've ever had. Wow. And it was just special. It's, it, 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 it was a, it was a great ride. And, you know, we, we didn't, we didn't talk and hang out a lot. No. I mean, for one thing, you always have a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, there. yeah. And we kind of learned, you know, it, I mean, uh, even the times, hey, you want to go have dinner afterward or something? I think we just let it, yeah. let it be. And, but a lot of that for me was I just see the, the load you carry in the life. And, I mean, you got your your way. And, and, I, and I had my stuff going on. Yeah. But, but I think that we... Um, you know, we were uh, we were authentic with each other. Yeah, 